that is this right here and I am very curious about the 360 fit me foundation because I actually have the fit me concealer in the color cafe and it is a perfect concealer for me um, I feel like it's it's lightweight but then you can also build it up to full coverage and that's what I really like about it so I just you know I saw a lot of people reviewing this and they finally came out with a shade that I thought would match me or be very similar to uh, a color that I would wear so I said okay why not just try it I actually purchased this at uh, Target last week and I said oh, I'll do a review so that's what I'm gonna do for you ladies today um, it is Sunday morning I am actually going to get ready for church here in a bit so I just thought I would apply the foundation and then um, I'll do my makeup and I'll just let you ladies see what it's going to look like before I apply the makeup. Get a pretty good idea of what you think it looks like. I'm very, you know, natural. And it says that it, natural, it matches natural tone. It blends seamlessly. It lets skin breathe. So I'm thinking this is supposed to be for more of a lightweight coverage. You know, usually you like to have a lighter coverage in summer. And I don't really uh, have much to conceal. I think this should be fine. I won't need to build it up to full coverage or anything like that. So I am going to test this with a primer because it's realistic for me to test it with a primer since I wear all of my foundations with a primer. I think you're pretty much setting your foundation up for failure if you're going to test it without a primer. And I just think that it's realistic. I would normally wear a primer with my foundation, so why not test it with a primer? I'm gonna put the foundation on this little candle jar top. It's a liquidy consistency. already I've applied way too much um, I'm gonna have to do this over because this is a lot already and you don't you don't need a lot so um, this is good to know you do not need a lot of this at all so ladies I'm gonna go ahead and reprime because you really I mean some foundations you never know what you're gonna get and with this foundation not much at all. Okay, it doesn't feel heavy at all. It appears to be a really pretty color. It has a red undertone to it, and I love foundations that have a red undertone just because I have a yellow undertone and sometimes foundations can make me look very dull if they have a yellow undertone to it. I, well, I never really feel like they have a yellow undertone. I feel like it's like a gray undertone and it makes me look, my, it makes my skin color look very dull. Like it doesn't look radiant at all and I don't like that. So I love foundations that have a really pretty red undertone to it definitely has that really pretty red undertone. I'm just going to blend it in on my neck area. Um, I think it gives a really smooth appearance um, for your skin. It is lightweight. It is a lightweight. Um, a little sticky. Feels a little sticky. So that I don't know if that is how it um, it is reacting to my primer. You know, because sometimes once you apply your primer and then you apply your foundation, it adheres to the primer, so it feels a little sticky. But um, it does. It it feels lightweight, but still just a little sticky. Like a little, a little pasty almost, which is surprising considering that um, it's 
so thin and liquidy. So it does feel a little pasty on the skin, but I think it looks really pretty on the skin. It definitely looks very, um, it makes your skin look really soft. Didn't use a powder. That I, you know, since I used a primer, I won't use a powder to set it. So I'm really just blending this in right now to give it a really natural look. And I think that this gives a natural looking coverage as it states that it does. I think it blends well. Hey girls, I'm back. Okay, so I am fully dressed and I applied my, I applied just a little bit more foundation just to fill in the areas that I felt needed um, a little bit more, a little bit more of an even coverage because I felt in some places I didn't blend it very well and so it wasn't completely even just because of the way that I had applied it earlier starting from my forehead and then just working it all over to my face. So um, I definitely wanted to just make it look very even all on my face. Um, I did apply, I did, did not apply a setting powder just because I want to see how it reacts without a setting powder. And I applied some Fit Me Concealer, um, just a tad bit, just to brighten up the areas where uh, the foundation kind of made it look um, a little darker than what it normally would be um, because I do have lighter areas in my skin tone. So I definitely use some concealer to just brighten up those areas where the sun would naturally reflect and just natural lighter areas in my face. And um, I just have on um, a little bit of eyeshadow, um, a little bit of uh, terracotta uh, NYX blush, and I have on some hard candy um, tiki baked bronzer as my high, um, more as like a bronzy highlighter for a glowy kind of dewy look. So yes, that is what I have applied on my face and I am actually going to go to church now. I'm going to see how everything um, holds up throughout the whole day. It is now 11.01. I think I applied this around the 9 o'clock hour. Yes, I know I'm late for church. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, but I am on my way and I just want to say right now, I'm loving my foundation. Like I took a look at it like after I applied my all of my makeup and I really love this foundation. I want to see what it looks like after, you know, the course of the day has um, taken place. But I definitely am in love with how it looks, the color, how it looks with all of my makeup applied. Um, it doesn't look ashy or cakey at all. It is very pretty. And um, as of now, I would definitely say if you haven't purchased this, go get it. But my mind could possibly change throughout the day. So I'm going to report to you guys back a little bit later. And uh, hopefully you'll stay tuned. Okay, see you later. Hey guys. Okay, so I am just coming back from church. Um, I don't know. Can you guys see me like this? Okay, so I cleaned out my car, and it's rather warm in here, and um, I'm about to go get some, um, what do you call that, aluminum foil and some eggs from the grocery store and some fingernail polish remover. I have to say so far that if the sun is not out too, I don't know how this looks, but so far, I am still pleased with how my makeup looks. The, remember I said that it was a little pasty at first? Um, maybe because it's a little bit warmer, it's starting to like settle into the skin more so it doesn't feel as pasty. So it feels like it's kind of like just, I don't know, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like before. So that's good. Um, I don't feel like it's really oily or anything like that and usually my nose is the first to sweat where it feels really oily and that doesn't look oily doesn't look oily at all it doesn't even really feel oily and I don't know everything's holding up really well it's about 12 almost 1 o'clock and 
again I feel like maybe I'm testing my makeup out a little bit more than usual like I have the windows up I just want to see how the foundation reacts to warm to warm temperatures and so far it's holding up really well so I'm really happy about that and I am going to open the window just a little bit. So yeah, um, as of now, my makeup looks really good. Um, not too oily. Um, yeah, I, I'm pleased. I'm, I'm impressed, but it's only been the first two hours. I have a few more hours to go before I really um, settle in and uh, give you my full review. So um, if you guys will stay tuned, I will see you in a few hours that okay it bye. is now almost 9 30 and my night has pretty much concluded i've done everything that i needed to do today i even took a nap and i would have to say i am oily at this point so um definitely using a setting powder would be beneficial if you're going to use this foundation i do have a list of pros so my pose are, it's lightweight throughout the day. It does settle into your skin, so um, it doesn't feel as pasty as it does when you first apply it. The color is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful undertone. I wanted to go over the directions because I actually didn't follow the directions. The directions say to shake well, apply, and blend with your fingertip. I, I did not apply this with my fingertips. I did use my Real Techniques brush as you saw in the beginning of the video. So it's your choice whether you want to use your fingertips and apply it as the directions suggest or if you want to use a foundation brush or whatever type of brush that uh, suits your fancy. The shade matches well. Um, I think it blends very well. So even if it's a little off, it, it does blend seamlessly as it, as it does suggest. So um, yes, I think that it will, I think it works really well if you're my skin tone, maybe a little bit lighter or even a little bit darker. You only need a little bit, just a little bit. You don't need a lot. That is perfect and that's really good because you know that you'll uh, be able to uh, have the product for a long time. So you won't run through it because you don't need very much of it. So that's really it's good. affordable. Um, I would definitely say that this compares to a higher end brand. Um, this is a lightweight. I do believe it's light coverage because it, I can still see my freckles when I applied it. But I think you can build this up. But I think it would be, be medium coverage. It wouldn't be coverage so if you're someone that is looking to conceal a lot of imperfections then I would definitely say you want to go with something that's full coverage this might not work for you my cons okay so the cons that I have for this foundation is you need to set it um, you're gonna have to set it with something and I don't know how that would work for you during the summer spring months I have no problem setting my foundation with a with a powder I, I would just do it very lightly in the summer but you do need to set it if you are a type of person that gets oily if you have very dry skin then you might not need to set this but if you're someone like me that gets very oily um, especially in the spring and the summer in the t-zone then you definitely would want to set this with a setting powder I really don't like that it doesn't have a pump because you can waste product when you don't have a I believe that when you're using a pump it just allows you to dispense it a little bit more easily that way you're not wasting product and I think that with this um, you have to pour it in like a little container of some sort like I did in the beginning of the video uh, which sometimes can be a little time consuming so I really did wish it had a pump um, so that would be one of is it feels really sticky and pasty in the beginning you have to wait for it to settle into the skin um, so I would definitely recommend using a primer I did not test this without a primer but I wouldn't test anything without a primer unless it suggested that you didn't need a primer I I honestly would purchase this again I believe this was only close to six dollars um, yeah so I would definitely purchase this again I'm 
I am impressed. Um, okay, I, I'm in love with it. Um, it definitely compares to a higher end foundation, a lightweight higher end foundation. So um, that is my review for the Fit Me foundation. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, rate, and subscribe. And um, if you have any questions, then um, just connect with me on my social media, which I will link all down. Until next time, bye.